Well, here's the project in a little more closer to finished form. It is off the breadboard and onto the perf board. Um, it's, um, there's an opto isolator. They're at about six o'clock. There's a transistor at about nine o'clock and there's a 555 timer at about 12 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> the transistor amplifies the signal coming from the uh, Orion. The opto isolator just keeps them separate, the, the amplification circuit, circuit and the Orion, uh, so that if, well anyway, just keeps them separate. And um, the 555 timer generates a pulse width modulation signal that allows me to dim the LEDs. So, as I start, you can see I'll start flashing. And if I turn the potentiometer, they'll get brighter. Ooh, quite a lot brighter. They were all the way down. So you can have them flashing at a brightness that you prefer. And there you go. I'm pretty pleased with it. Pretty, 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 pretty pleased. There you go. Here's what it looks like on the uh, proto board, or the breadboard, for comparison. That is pretty much the same circuit, but um, all sort of spread out and figuring out how to get it working. And it shrinks down real nice, doesn't it? Show you the back side. Hang on a second, let me turn off the power here so I don't accidentally zap something. While I'm moving it around. There's the, <clears throat> the back side. I, um, this is just a um, regular perf board so there are no buses. So I used a piece of wire to make a, a ground and a and a hot bus to make it easier to connect stuff up so I didn't have to run a bunch of wires all over the place. I felt pretty clever about that. And I'm reasonably proud of my soldering too. I've gotten much better at making solder bridges <laughs> since I uh, first started doing this. Anyway, there you go.